Right now at 11, a series of manhole explosions causes power outages and forces evacuations in the North End. The outage has been confined to a smaller area, but for the people who can't get home, it's still a big deal, and they're wondering what's next. Good evening, everyone. We begin with day two of an explosive situation in Boston's North End. Another series of manhole explosions rocked residents and business owners, many of whom are still without power tonight. News Center 5's Jack Carper begins our local live coverage from Boston. Jack? Liz, a lot of people here in the North End are getting a little weary, and no wonder, second night in a row, manhole explosions, fires, and for many, second night in a row, they're not going to be allowed inside their homes. Mayor Menino was over here a little while ago. He told NSTAR he wants a full report on his desk by 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Where does it begin? Where does it end? This is ridiculous. Claudia Spanulo's restaurant got power back in an hour, but that's not the point. For the last two weeks, all of a sudden, manholes every week. And blowouts and power shortage. People lost ice cream, meats, foods, everything. Power. Today's fire was heaviest at Hanover and Prince, a block from yesterday's original manhole explosion. And I heard what sounded like a bomb and saw an explosion, smoke pouring out of the street. And everybody came running down Hanover Street. Um, and then from the street, I could just see a lot of smoke pouring out. Tonight, NSTAR called this complications from yesterday's blowout, which was attributed to faulty wiring. We're still piecing together the events of today, and so we do know that we did have an incident um, with a cable fault on a line here in the north end last night. About four, they knocked on the door saying you have to evacuate because there was another manhole, I don't know what, over there. And we did a big mistake. We went out, and now we cannot come back in. Even as the outage shrank to about a block, many were unable to get back. They're saying this, you can't let anybody in. And I'm, I'm actually more worried about my cat than going to work. Because I live like right where it exploded, and the smoke was like hitting my building, so. We don't want incidents like this to happen in our city or any place else. And then Star was working, cooperating with us at this time on this issue. And so I'm um, satisfied that uh, everyone who humanly possible can make sure that it's going to be, uh, those manhole covers will be safe. The mayor made those comments after a lengthy meeting with NSTAR again, demanding a full report by tomorrow on what's going to happen next and trying to make sure it doesn't happen again. The big question tonight, how long will they be here? NSTAR says they don't know. In the North End, Jack Harper, News Center 5. Liz, to you. All right, Jack, thank you. And we are following a developing story right now. Now on 7. Thick smoke, intense flames, now power problems, a nightmare from underground in Boston's North End. Live from Boston, this is 7 News on the news station. Enormous explosions rocking the North End. People ordered out. Yeah, let's go outside the tape. Business is shut down by this underground danger. Hanover Street at this hour, NSTAR crews working diligently overtime trying to make the repairs and get things underway for tomorrow. It is tonight's big story. Things are a lot calmer now, but the danger is still there. Just hours ago, smoke and fire poured out of several manholes, forcing people to flee and shutting down one of the city's most popular streets. We have big story coverage. The night team's Chris May looks at the nightmare for people who live and work in the North End. We start with Dan Housley for the latest on the underground danger. Dan? Well, the yellow tape is still here. State police keeping people off of three blocks in the heart of Hanover Street. Looking down a little farther, you can see where an NSTAR crew is working. Where else? Around a manhole, trying to make sure what happened today doesn't happen again. A mishap that cost a lot of folks their appetite. NSTAR crews and Boston firefighters working into the night to make sure they don't get a repeat of this. Flames leaving six feet into the air out of a manhole at Prince and Hanover Streets in the heart of Boston's North End. Outside the tape, please. Police tried to clear out the residents and visitors just pouring into the busy dinner district. It was like a bomb going off in the street. People started running. There was smoke pouring out of it. Um, it was the end of dinner hour, so everyone started running down the street. It was pandemonium. Workers were getting out of nearby businesses, too. You know, it's pretty unsettling, uh, you know, having uh, the NSTAR guys just standing around all day working, and then next thing I know, there's flames coming out of the street, and, uh, you know, you got you to gotta take off and take care of yourself. Small explosions down below rippled through the smoke. Firefighters poured water down the holes, but they had more than a few holes to deal with. 
We have up to a half a dozen manholes burning actively down here in this area. Meanwhile, the underground fire knocked out power to much of the North End, shutting down restaurants and leaving waiters in the street. No juice, no, no food, no nothing. NSTAR said it didn't have a cause, but it was working on a solution. We know that it's hot. We know our customers want their power back, and so we're working as fast as we can. All of this follows a series of manhole explosions Wednesday night. In fact, firefighters were trying to cool off the power lines below when today's flames first erupted. Mayor Menino says he's gotten assurances from NSTAR it won't happen again. I'm um, satisfied that uh, everyone who humanly possible can make sure that it's going to be uh, those manhole covers will be safe uh, I work on it presently. Some North End residents still worry they may be on shaky ground. It's like you're standing on a ticking bomb. <laughs> you don't know what's going to blow next. And with another festival bringing in thousands of people here into the North End this weekend, you can understand why the mayor and others would want to make sure this doesn't happen again anytime soon. These three blocks of Hanover Street remain the primary ones without power, leaving about 100 residents in the dark tonight and start saying they don't know when these customers will get back on live. We're live in the North End. Dan Housley, 7 News 19. Dan, you're right. It's tough when it happens on Hanover Street. That's one of the most popular for tourists and natives. Some well-known restaurants and pastry shops, they had to close down for the night. The night team's Chris May in the North End tonight. Chris? And Randy, if Hanover Street is in fact the heart of the North End, then uh, tourists and customers are certainly its lifeblood. But for those people tonight, there are few options on this normally vibrant street. And there are some questions about what it all means. The sign may say open, but much of Hanover Street is closed, and as business owners wait, summer is slipping away. Business is good right now, and uh, this kills it. Mark Petrino tried to keep the corner store open, but with little foot traffic out front, his cigars and cigarettes went unsold. And only dry ice is keeping the Ben and Jerry's from melting away. We expect that this to be uh, one of the best Thursdays we've had in maybe 15 years. And then this happened. Up and down Hanover and its side streets, business owners are frustrated. They've lost customers, they're losing inventory, and they don't know when the neighborhood's underground troubles will be fixed. Jeff Carl's restaurant, Giovanni, is open, but he feels the pain of his neighbors. From a business standpoint, if they don't get these businesses open tomorrow, it's going to cost tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars for the business owners, maybe millions. There are also fears the effects could spread through the entire North End if out-of-towners stay away. One local resident says she can already sense a difference. And the restaurant that I was in was very, very quiet, and it's oftentimes packed. You have to have reservations, and so uh, it was really kind of sad. Sad and potentially devastating when it comes time to pay the bills. But there is some optimism here, and it's mixed in with Italian resolve. As they say, questa la vita, that's life. <laughs> well, some business owners that we spoke with tonight did seem sort of resigned to all this. They have lost business to these power outages in the past. They say this neighborhood has simply undergone tremendous change over the years, and it's not equipped to handle it. We're live in the North End tonight. I'm Chris May, 7 News Nights. All right, Chris, with that work going on, there will be overnight developments to report, and we'll have those on 7 News Today in New England starting at 5 in the morning. This is Fox 25 News at 10. A massive mess in the North End sparked by several manhole explosions. Sky Fox catching the scene from above, smoke blanketing the entire neighborhood, causing lights out. Hi, everybody. I'm Maria Stefanos. And I'm David Wade. That fire spreading underground, causing the evacuation of that neighborhood there. Fox 25's Angelica Thornton has been following this story throughout the evening. She's live in the North End. Angelica? David Maria, Hanover Street is still blocked here in the heart of the North End as NSTAR crews try to figure out what caused this problem and fix this problem. The good news, no one was hurt, but people who live and work here say they're afraid to walk outside, worried this will happen again. You couldn't even breathe, they were so dying. Chaos in the North End after a manhole cover suddenly blows up, sending residents and visitors running for cover. I don't know what to do if I should stay inside. Is, is the building going to go on fire? If I'm going to run outside, are these manhole covers going to fly out in the air and hit me? It started here on busy Hanover Street around 4 o'clock, but the flames quickly spread through underground tunnels, causing a series of explosions. We have one here and 
fire over here, and we may have another one a little bit further down the street. Firefighters scrambled to douse the flames as nauseating black smoke filled the air. Police evacuated three buildings. No one seems to be telling residents anything about if it's toxic. Businesses forced to close after power was turned off, the outage spreading as far as Faneuil Hall. NSTAR officials blame the mess on faulty electrical lines, saying they thought they had the problem fixed after similar explosions Wednesday that injured four firefighters. Well, we just don't have a lot of answers right now. Our first priority is making this area safe and then restoring power to our customers as quickly as we can. Mayor Tom Menino holding an emergency meeting tonight with outside experts demanding answers from NSTAR. We had a problem last night and uh, they said, well, it won't happen again. Well, it happened again today once again. and so. What's the plan moving forward? That meeting just ended a few minutes ago. The mayor is expected to get a report from NSTAR by 1 o'clock tomorrow. An NSTAR spokeswoman telling us 100 customers are still without power at this hour. She does not know when it will be restored, but it could take all night. The company is putting some residents up in hotels, and a cooling center has been set up at the Nazaro Center on North Bennett Street. Reporting live from the North End, Angelica Thornton, Fox 25 News. Angelica, thank you. Now on NECN's News at 10. For a second straight day, manhole fires burn in Boston's North End. Business owners and residents want to know what's going on. Now. From America's most honored regional news network, this is the News at 10. Our top story tonight, manhole fires in Boston's North End neighborhood. Good evening, I'm Amanda Rossiter. And I'm R.D. Saul. Boston Mayor Thomas Benito wants answers from the utility NSTAR after several manhole fires in the city's north end. The fires disrupted busy Hanover Street, forcing residents and businesses to evacuate today. Much of the power has been restored, but many questions still remain. NECN's Brad Puffer is in the north end tonight with the latest. Brad? Well, RD, and that is the good news tonight, that the power has been restored for most of the North End, although a couple blocks of Hanover Street remain affected this evening. Those fires are out, but residents are frustrated, and the mayor wants answers. For the second time in just 24 hours, an explosion in the North End. All of a sudden, everything went black, and we went outside, and there was a manhole outside our office that um, there was just smoke billowing out. Flames and thick black smoke poured out of several manholes on Hanover Street as fire crews responded. While the working fire was coming in, we had two more manholes uh, explode on Prince Street, and the deputy chief on scene hit a second alarm. Much of the street was then shut down, buildings evacuated. It stinks. I can't get into my apartment. <laughs> I'm trying to get back home right now, and it's just another big problem with NSTAR. And frustration grew as people waited. For almost an hour, power was cut to the entire north end. Restaurants unable to serve dinner on what should be a busy summer night. We completely understand how frustrating it is. We know how hot it is, and that's why we're working as quickly as we can to make, you know, make the area safe and then again restore the power. But with a series of similar incidents, Mayor Tom Menino says he expects answers from NSTAR as to both a cause and a long-term solution to the problem. We had a problem last night, and uh, they said, well, it won't happen again. Well, it happened again today once again, and so what's the plan moving forward? NSTAR says this latest fire was likely caused by a fault in the service line, possibly damaged from Wednesday night's explosion that injured several firefighters. This is the third one in a couple of weeks. Last week was down the other end of the street. So it's not, it's not a very comforting thing to have. And the mayor said he expected to hear from NSTAR sometime tonight about their plan on how to address this problem. He wants to be assured that it won't happen again. Clearly, NSTAR cannot give that assurance at this time based on everything that's happened over the last 24 hours. In the North End in Boston, Brad Puffer, NECN. RD, back to you. Uh, any hint this evening that this is a case of old infrastructure, aging cables? Well, I did ask about that, and yes, there are there are lots of old lines throughout the city of Boston, but NSTAR insists they've been systematically going through and upgrading, spending millions and millions of dollars to upgrade the lines and the infrastructure. They say, of course, they will look at that as a possible problem and see whether uh, repairs or upgrades need to be made in this area as well, R.D. Brad Puffer in the North End tonight. Thank you.